Opening up the UFC 284 fight card, we have Zubaira Tukagov taking on short notice replacement or short notice step up, Elves Brenner. Zubaira Tukagov. That's the clip that they clip it and they ship into like, this guy's an idiot. You're going to give this guy your money? That's the clip. You got it. He hasn't stopped drinking since Saturday. I know. And it's it's, it's just water. Hmm. Zubaira Tukagov. Is twenty and five overall, two, two and one in his last five. He's coming back after a year away, and he's taking on short notice Elves Brenner, who has like six names and different last names. He's thirteen and three overall, three and two in his last five. He is making his official UFC debut, and this is an interesting <laughs> card because I know I do <laughs> I, I, Marble Mouth. I can't handle it. Sorry, Marble Mouth. Uh, Tukagov is a nasty striker, but. Fights like a grappler. Diving at legs, shooting takedowns over and over and over again. And frankly, his take his stand-up is just okay. He fancies himself as a striker, but he wrestles nonstop. And his wrestling's probably enough to get this done. He has taken down pretty much every single opponent he's ever fought, including... Including? I am a mess today. Yeah, this including, is not, I'm a little concerned for your health at this point, Doc. Because you this started be this off... This literally you, could be a stroke happening in front of our eyes. And I don't know what like, I do. You're like, can I? Oh, hey, let me do the intro. You'll love it. And I then didn't you're ask like, for that. you you invited me because you wanted me to. You were too afraid to make the announcement, and I have no issues hiding what we are. And um, then you kind of went back on your word. Honestly, bit. not on your best day. Like honestly, even if if we were Whoa, into there's the no same shot. things. If you Even saw if we were into the same into, thing, no, if you I'm, saw me I'm walk into you. a bar, you'd be like, you, "This is what you'd be." If You're I short. Here, no, if I I'm not. If here, I if I'm if I'm into that, I'm not into some short man. Look no, at me. I'm telling you, this six is, this, three, two fifty, and oh, look at that little like, baby. This, this is you. That's what you would do if I walked in. These shoulders. I mean, look at except this. like this. I would look and then down and be like, <laughs> "No thanks." Yeah, you anyway, probably would. I wouldn't blame you for that either. Anyway, that thing's yeah, I got. I got it. Tukagov fancies himself as a striker. He fights like a wrestler, though. He does have some gaps on his feet, at least in my opinion. People think he's a nasty striker. He's going to be diving at legs in this fight. That is probably enough to get this done. Els Brenner is a grappler. He knows what he needs to do to win this fight. He has, like, decent hands if you watch. It's very loose. And he's basically just buying time to get his jiu-jitsu going. But Tukagov should be able to get the takedowns. Control on top, avoid the submissions, and get this done. He opened. We have the new line movement tracker on the website, but also on the individual graphics. He opened at a minus 500. He's now minus 600. He's been bet even farther. And I think people are just loving that Brenner's short notice. And I get it. And Tukagov should win this fight. But what's funny is he's not a minus 500 guy, meaning he's not this dominant force that destroys people. These odds are indicative this this matchup and this matchup only and even then, I don't like these odds. Els Brenner could win this fight. I'm not picking him. I'm picking Tukagov. But this has Parlay Buster written all over. Like, I, I'm not putting any money on Tukagov here. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know if I agree with. Yeah, I was like with you until like the very end with the Parlay Buster and stuff like that. Obviously, anybody's going to be live in any type of matchup. I mean, this, these are fights and weird things can happen. But for Brenner to win this fight, he needs to get to the ground and he needs to end up on top when he's on the ground. And I just don't see a world in this fight where he ends up in a top dominant position against a guy that's such a good wrestler in Zuba. With that said, if I'm Zuba, I don't even know if I give him that opportunity to win a scramble, to do something off his back. Cause Zuba is a, a pretty good striker. He's not like, as you mentioned, um, I agree. He's not a super dangerous guy, even on the ground or on the feet. So the odds probably are a little bit wide for somebody that's probably going to be there for all three rounds, but you know, on the feet, he, he can do enough Against the the as you mentioned the kind of loose Muay Thai of Brenny, he's got that real uh, snappy Khabib jab that he throws. Is boom, boom, boom. He's got good combinations and he can take a shot as well. So even if Brenner lands a shot, he has a pretty good chin. For Brenner, you have to get in his face. You have to make this a dog fight. You have to try to hurt Zuba. So then you have to try and hurt Zuba. So then he takes. I, I just, like I, I'm, I'm very passionate. I just slammed my re, my remote for my uh, 
Dang it, it went flying. Um, you have to get in a position where Zuba is panicking, taking a bad shot, and then you can kind of work scrambles from there. But I just don't see it happening. Zuba can win this on the feet. Or if he wants to take to the ground, as you mentioned, he should be experienced enough to withstand all the submission threats. But I think it's a Zuba matchup all the way. The odds reflect that. It should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, I agree. I, you don't think these odds are wide, though? Like, minus 600 seems for, a yeah, absurd. For, for somebody like that, as you mentioned, you want somebody that's not going to be in there for 15 minutes, right? You'd like to see him in the first round getting a finish, whether dominant on the feet or submission threat. And Zuba's really not that guy. So he should dominate for all three rounds. But I agree. It's like, I'm not putting money. I did put him in a parlay, but as far as like money line stuff, that is a little rich. I wouldn't even put him in a parlay, but... Oh, um, <laughs> $9,600 in DraftKings. I, um, I'm not spending that when you can get... We'll, we'll break down this whole card, but there's other people right around that price point that I'm far more confident in to put up big numbers. I mean, it's it's because it's short notice. That's why the line is what it is. That's why the betting is what it is. And I get it. Short notice does matter. But as I said so eloquently, Tukagov is not a minus 600 fighter. He's just not. This matchup is a favorable matchup, but that's just, he's not this dominant force that just beats the brakes off of people. Yeah, and, and to your point, the 9,600 in DraftKings, this isn't going to be, I was thinking, well, if you got takedown after takedown after takedown, but Brenner's not going to try to get back to his feet. He has no, he, why would yeah. he want to get back to the feet? So if he gets taken down, he's going to play the guard game. He's going to look for sweeps. He's not going to try and get back up. So as far as like takedown stacking up for your money, and he's probably not going to be a, a threat really on the feet. Yeah, that's an expensive $9,600 for a guy like Zuba. Speaking of expensive, uh, you have oh. like how? No, no, no. This isn't we, some oh. weird homoerotic Jacob intro. You have like fifteen units already. Something stupid. Yeah, they got like um, something irresponsible. It got out of hand a little, uh, a little quickly on me. the the prop The props dropped, and I was like, "Oh, look at this one. Oh, like that one." <laughs> but I have. It's not all just ridiculous bets, too. I've got some really, really good ones. No, they're logical. Yeah, I mean, and I'll just say for for two eighty three, I had um, three and the minus three and a half on bet online. It's a bet online exclusive. I love those bets for the big favorites. You can knock their odds basically in half. And if you think you're going to dominate the fight, it's pretty much the same risk. I mean, obviously it's not. That's why you get better odds. But if you think they dominate the fight, man, and I've got a, a few of those again for this card. Um, go to wewantpicks.com, become a premium member. It is only ten dollars a month. You can go to ten dollars. You can go to McDonald's right now, spend twelve dollars. All you're gonna get is a little bit of diarrhea. We promise. <laughs> and we want picks. We will never give you a little bit of diarrhea. <laughs> From the mouth for sure. 